Good morning and welcome again to A Never Boring Life. I'm Brenna, talking to you this morning from the Hampton Inn in Spokane, Washington. Yesterday was a really, really hard, um, not fun travel day. The heat, the dash heat went out on the RV that I was driving. It made for a really, really cold day. The temperature outside was in the 20s. Um, I bought a little plug-in heater that you plug into the 12 volt system to help keep my feet warm. Um, and yes, I'm driving a brand new RV and it has issues, it has uh, those types of issues and it does happen. It doesn't happen that often, um, but this is I think the second one I've driven where the heat has stopped working. So when you're considering purchasing an RV, you should definitely take the time to really check it out. A little bit about me, um, I was winter camping in Lac de Flambeau, Wisconsin, and uh, some of the people traveling with us decided that they were going to watch the fire from their sleeping bag, and the fire went out. And so some of us, uh, I was not the only one, but a couple of us literally almost died because the outside temperature on that particular trip was negative 40. And that's without the wind chill, that was the actual temperature. So when the fire went out, things got very cold very fast. And so now whenever I get cold, it causes uh, a lot of emotional trauma for me. <laughs> Brings up a lot of stuff. I get very scared very quickly and it's really, really hard on me. And I, I don't like being cold. <clears throat> One of the things about living in an RV is you should definitely chase the weather. When it's 110 degrees in the south, you want to go north and when it's very cold in the north you want to go south where it's warmer um, because RVs aren't really built um, they're not really meant for extreme temperatures you want to have you want to follow the weather as much as humanly possible but obviously if you're driving one professionally you don't have that option all the time and on top of that when you drive 2400 miles which is what this trip is um, you're going to encounter all kinds of weather. It's going to be raining somewhere. It's going to be snowing somewhere. Um, depending on the time of year, you just don't know. And I mean, one of the things I do when I first get an assignment for where to drive is I do check the weather and try to route around any known storms that are coming, you know, especially like during hurricane season and things like that. The weather is one of those surprising things um, that really factors into living in RV life and traveling full time. Um, today, I'm going to be traveling again with no heat, but the temperature is uh, where I'm going is going to be in the 40s. So that should be more tolerable with all the layering that I have. And I do have multiple layers. I have like this little tank top and then a t-shirt and then my sweatshirt and then my jacket. And um, I have also a pair of insulated leggings that I'm putting underneath a pair of sweatpants and I have multiple layers of socks. If you know me very well, you know that I, I hate wearing regular shoes, so I generally wear sandals. Um, and I am still wearing my sandals only because in the RV itself, I have these toasty socks and they're actually warmer normally than putting shoes over my socks because the shoes aren't very thick and the, the thick toasty socks are. So I'll keep kind of liner socks on even with my sandals for today just because of the temperature and the fact that um, I really don't want to get cold again. I don't know if you can see the frost on the door handle and on the door. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. It's very, very cold here. You can see the frost on the ground and uh, that's gonna make for um, a challenging, challenging day. <laughs> uh, hopefully I won't be in the cold too long. Where I'm going is warmer than where I am, so hopefully it's not too bad today. So if you would like to make any comments or you have any questions that I can answer, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll try and answer your questions and we can share a never boring life together.